StoryTube by Joshua Gen 2005 Conspiracy Explained in 10 Minutes How does the word conspiracy come into being? It is being connecting two words together. The first word is con. Collins Cobild English Dictionary gives the definition as, O1. If someone cons you, they persuade you to do something or believe something by telling you things that are not true. O2. Con is a trick in which someone deceives you by telling you something that is not true. In the language itself, we could use the word cons, if someone does an act of deceiving. Therefore we use the word cons as first. The second word is piracy. There again Collins Cobild English Dictionary gives a definition for the word in two lines. O1. Piracy is robbery at sea carried out by pirates. 2. You can refer to the illegal copying of things such as videotapes and computer programs as piracy. Protection against piracy of books and films. When these two words combine together as conspiracy, no dictionary in the world could give a proper definition in a few words as it could be explained in paragraphs but not a few words. As I will be fast forwarding the video in a speedy phase while showing you some creative common slides while giving you the definition that the world renowned dictionaries have to offer. I will soon explain what conspiracy is in a very simple way so that you will be the judge of any events that you are familiar with to decide whether that particular incident is a conspiracy or a conspiracy theory. Dictionary definition of the word conspiracy 1. Conspiracy is the secret planning by a group of people to do something illegal. 2. Someone believes there probably was a conspiracy to kill President Kennedy in 1963. 3. A conspiracy is an agreement between a group of people which other people think is wrong or is likely to be harmful. 4. Conspiracy of silence, an agreement not to talk about something, even though it should not be a secret. 5. An agreement to perform together an illegal, wrongful, or subversive act. This list could go on and on. However, we see, sometime later, when this word became strong and known to the outside world, the conspirators themselves created another word to be used together with the word, conspiracy. That is now most of the time called a conspiracy theory. In any incident which takes place in the world today some will say it is a conspiracy and some will say it is only a conspiracy theory. How are we going to differentiate these two? I am sure most of the masses very unlikely take sides with a story or an event which takes place that will affect their daily lives, loved ones, their economies, or their peace of mind as they do not know how to differentiate conspiracy and, conspiracy theory. As I did a breakdown of the word, conspiracy into two earlier, let us see how we should understand the conspiracy properly. Conspiracy simply means cons added to piracy. The conspirators will simply create piracy by lies, as the sea pirates used to hijack ships in the sea and loot and destroy avoiding any traces of piracy. By the time you know that ship is missing, there could be so many explanations to it. In the Holy Scripture, you find the word conspired 19 times. When Jews were living in exile in Egypt, there came a Pharaoh who was unfamiliar with Jews and the Egyptians at that time knowingly made them be slaves of that land and Pharaoh got caught to a conspiracy. When King David wanted to take Bathsheba as his wife after finding out that she has got impregnated by his seed, he conspired to kill her husband during the battlefront. When Jesus Christ walked on this earth, the high priests, Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes conspired to kill Jesus as they were losing their income, status, popularity and importance amongst people fast. The Roman Empire was full of conspiracies with egos of pride, greed, and dominance. How do we put any controversial incident into a carbon test? Take an incident and tell me whether someone benefited out of the outcome of it. If someone or group benefited by going into war, murder, assassination, robbery, pride, greed, or fraud, it could be called conspiracy. 
If a simple explanation is given to the word, conspiracy is someone benefiting out of an incident. If someone benefited, it is a conspiracy. If not, it is a conspiracy theory that is being used by someone for future benefit out of that. I will give you a few major events that affected the lives now is for you to decide whether these incidents are conspiracies or conspiracy theories. Remember almost all wars are a conspiracy and the masses were motivated to believe it is necessary. In any war, losers will be the soldiers who fight and the people of those countries. 1. The killing of President John F. Kennedy in 1963. 2. American Civil War. 3. French Revolution. 4. First World War. 5. Second World War. 6. Korean War. 7. Iran-Iraq War. 8. Gulf War. 9. Arab Spring. 10. Afghan War. 11. Middle East Peace. 12. Kashmir in India and Pakistan. 13. War in Yemen. 14. African Tribal Wars. 15. The Killing of Rajiv Gandhi. 16. The Killing of Indira Gandhi. 17. The Killing of SWRD Bandaranaika of Sri Lanka. 18. The Killing of Anwar Sadat. 19. The Car Crash of Princess Diana. The list could go on and on. If you need a correct vision on any of these or any other that you are interested in, apply this definition and you will know whether it is conspiracy or conspiracy theory. How good the world would be if we are free of conmen. Remember in any conspiracy, there will be a beneficiary. Who benefited when they were gone? Or is it only an assumption of conspiracy? A conspiracy theory? Now you know how to define and identify conspiracy. This is the newest way of storytelling. Brought to you by Joshua Gen 2005. Please do not forget to encourage us by subscribing to this channel and pushing the bell icon for future notifications of new video uploads.